Hey guys, Frank here, your virtual general aviation aviator, and today I am in the Microsoft Flight Simulator at Grand Canyon National Park. The plan today is to compare scenery. Believe it or not, I'm actually going to compare Microsoft scenery against X-Plane scenery in the canyon. Yay! So, uh, so yeah, right now we're, we're in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator and we do have Google scenery uh, running, which uh, we're going to start with. Now, of course, we've got Microsoft's assets, uh, which comprise of the buildings and whatnot. So let's uh, let's get airborne and um, and we'll do Google, Bing, and then finally we'll switch to explain with Ortho. Okay, so I've just taken off from Grand Canyon National, and I am on my way out to the canyon. So you get to see the the coloration popping in. Now this is from Google Maps, and I I am not loving the way that the color is popping in right there on the left um, in the bottom of the window. But sometimes it is what it is uh, there's a lot of data streaming in and even though I've got a super fast internet then it doesn't seem to be handling it as well as I like for it to be I do have the rolling cache on at the moment so might not be a bad idea to turn it off but you can see the the assets are self populating and that to me kind of dis, distracts from the immersion that I want when I'm flying low and slow like this. All right, so I don't see any buildings or anything like that and that's pretty well I do see some houses down there but they're really hard to see uh, you almost have to know they're down there and strain to see them and at this height I shouldn't have to strain to see them they should be fairly obvious so yeah So up on the left, I see some bi some buildings look like they may even be assets that Microsoft Flight Simulator has populated into the scene, uh, which is great. The trees from Google Maps don't look as, as good as I like for them to look, but it is what it is. In some places, Google Maps is the bomb because Microsoft Flight Microsoft's Bing Maps data is just so old that you don't get everything that you would get from Google Maps. Oftentimes, Google Maps is only two, three years old, whereas Microsoft Maps could be 15, uh, 10, 15 years old. Anyway, so we're now in the camp. And the textures colors look nice but they look kind of soft to me but it's doable I could live with it and checking out the canyon from this perspective is truly a treat because it's doubtful I ever get to check it out in real life from this perspective but yeah Right. So I guess we'll turn and head back 
Uh, actually, let's dip into the canyon just a little. So, if you look hard, you see the Colorado River down now. Now, the shadows are baked in, so no matter which angle the sun is at, you're not going to get rid of those shadows too easily. That's one of the downsides about photogrammetry. The mesh, uh, the textures just look kind of poor. All right, let's get out of here. And let's switch up. The next map we'll use would be from Microsoft's default map. map. Um, which I'm in now and immediately I can see the trees look a lot better. Uh, they're not as sparse, uh, there's not, they, they're not as dense as they look in Google Maps, but they got more texture. They look more realistic. And I can see houses or buildings out over the road, which I couldn't see earlier. So that's cool. Definitely see assets down there, buildings uh, that, I, that were completely missing when I looked at the scene with Google Maps. So that tells me that somewhere along the line, Microsoft Asobo tend to put more assets in a scene with the default systems running than they do when you switch to Google Maps or uh, maybe some other uh, photo photogrammetry scene. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, so we are on our way back to the canyon. Got a little glimpse of what's outside. Now, the houses that I'm seeing down look pretty much the same. And it dawns on me that I didn't change the weather. I'm actually doing standard weather, 59 degrees, 29.92. And I, I did do that with Google Maps. And when I spun back in with Microsoft, I didn't update that, so I just did the update. Um, I want to keep apples to apples in all of these comparisons as best I can. So the canyon kind of looked washed out, but that's a function of the sim. What Microsoft does is when they assume that you're looking at the dashboard or the cockpit dashboard they'll wash out the scenery in the foreground uh, however when you look up then they provide more contrast and color to it um, but yeah so this is my outside views and I am flying solo. This is one of the default liveries with Microsoft Flight Sim for the Cessna 172. All right, so I remember seeing a town or some buildings at the edge of the cliff, uh, the edge of the canyon. And I don't see as many at the moment. There's an asset there. So, the buildings are there, but they are 
you know, I think there are more trees now than there may be in real life in that area. All right, so we are now over the canyon. And just looking at the colors, the shadows, and the textures, then I can definitely say that I'm seeing more definition in the canyon, mount, uh, the canyons, the hills, and mountains, uh, uh, walls than I saw in Google Maps. Not a bad looking scene overall, and I wouldn't mind flying. I don't mind flying with either system, Google or Microsoft. I did see a little popping on the outside, and I did roll my turn my rolling cash off, so I can tell you. I, do get better. I don't get as much popping of scenery with the rolling cash turned off, but I do have a really fast internet. So, yeah. Alright, let's take a look at the river. And we are descend about a thousand feet. Take a look peak. And not bad. I am seeing some definition in the canyon, so that's really cool. Uh, not a lot of contrast in colors, but you know, it's doable. All right, so let's get out of here. above this canyon wall but now that we've seen what we need what we needed to see I'm not gonna spend a lot of time uh, go ahead and let some let's plan to jump into X plane all right so we're in X plane and as you can see the aircraft looks different uh, the trees look different, and while this scene may not be true to life, as Austin Miles like to say, it's plausible. Uh, I do like the textures. I can see uh, what look like to me. Well, I can see assets, but of course, most airports in X-Plane does have some assets that, uh, that are 3D. And the ground coloring, it certainly pops out at me. And that canyon look a long way from here, doesn't it? Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, it seemed to look closer from this perspective, but we'll follow the road. All right, so I do see some assets down there. Not many. Now, that, where the cursor is at is where I saw buildings that in Microsoft Flight Sim that have been populated, 3D buildings, and they are certainly missing in Google. I'm sorry, in Explain. And incidentally, guys, this is ortho, so I am using ortho with, with Explain. Uh, but there's a roof, and and again, I don't know how realistic the trees are. Um, you know, out here things you, you don't have a lot of water, so you don't get a lot of green. And the scenes certainly look a lot greener than I think it would in real life. In fact, those almost look like coniferous trees uh, or or tree, trees that stay green pretty much all year round. And that wouldn't be true to life, but again, it is kind of plausible. Uh, but yeah, um, I am not unhappy with the scene at all. All right, so out we go. This 
straining to see if I see any traffic down, any vehicular traffic down on the highway. I suspect there is, but I can't see it. I do see assets out towards the cliffs, out towards the, um, at the end of the plateau. And yeah. But we get into the canyon pretty quickly. It's not a bad flight. Wish I could do it in real life. Frame rate looks good. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot more assets in x -Plane in this location that I did either uh, Google Maps in Microsoft Flight Simulator or Bing Maps in Microsoft Flight Simulator. In fact, this even looked touristy to me. I see parking lots and houses and yeah, it looks, other than being a tourist attraction, what else would be out here in the middle of nowhere? see uh, swimming pools or ponds. Huge parking lot there for gazing. Yeah, so, so I like it. All right, so we're now over the canyon. X-Plane 12. Ortho. Incidentally, the little uh, six pack that's in the lower left hand corner is a add on called Scenic Flower. All right, so look at the canyon, guys. Oh my god, that looked better than, than, than either one that I've just seen. Again, the shadows are there and they're baked in, but the definition is outstanding. And There was a way to move the shadows and make them right according to the way the sun was shining. That would be awesome, but that just can't be done. All right, so I see the river. So we'll dip down maybe a thousand feet. And I can see rapids. So at this location, when these photos were made, the river, you can tell, was running pretty quickly. And that's a gorgeous scene. Now, x -Plane's Cessna 172 G1000 does not have the, the, what am I trying to say, the synthetic vision. Okay, I can see trails. I mean, that this this is fantastic detail. This is as close to actually being there, guys. I think that you're gonna get in the canyon. So I am surprised that that this is a place where where Google's ortho, um, X Plane's ortho, is outshining. Microsoft's ortho. That's something that you don't normally see. So, so yeah, share this with your friends. Like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, make comments. Let me know what you think. And, uh, I think this is um, beautiful. I think I can just be happy getting in some that flies low and slow, maybe a cub that fly about 40, 50 knots and just gaze at the at the scenery. Yeah, so let's see if we can't climb up out of here. Now the sun I didn't really get any good shots of the sun, but the sun does look differently in X-Plane 
than it does in Microsoft Flight Sim. I think Microsoft Flight Sim did an excellent job making the sun look like look like the sun. Looks like a star. Okay guys, well I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching and remember. Y'all come back now, here.